Which one of these do you think I'd rather take to work? <laughs> Well, we got out of court early today. It's time to blow off a little steam here at Stickley Family Farms. A lot of you guys were asking uh, about uh, seeing our farm or some of the old equipment that we use. And uh, we do have some really neat stuff. So uh, since it was finally not snowing or, uh, or icing or anything crazy like that, we put on the old uh, uh, Stormy Cromer hat, which is uh, necessary for all of the, the Michigan farmers out here. And uh, we figured we'd show you around and show you some of the toys that we have and we work with. Now, this tractor is sort of the uh, the workhorse of uh, of my farm. It uh, it does everything. We we pull with it. We uh, we have a hay ride uh, when we have our corn maze and uh, attractions uh, in the fall. So it pulls that around. Of course, it's got the uh, the three point hitch for people who are like, uh, is there a, a connection between uh, legal stuff and farming and tractors? Well, yes, there is. This is the uh, the controversial three point hitch that got uh, Massey Ferguson and Henry Ford in a giant lawsuit that went on and on and on. Uh, the three point hitch right here is the that's the thing that allows you to hook up various implements, uh, plows, uh, mowers, all sorts of fun stuff that really makes the tractor useful. Of course, there's a thing called a PT. T-O that spins around so you can hook various tools to that. Uh, you can hook uh, harvesting tools or uh, giant lawn mowers or even, even a sawmill. One of the most handy things we have around here on the farm is a, a post hole digger. It's a giant drill and we can drill fence posts and even uh, holes for telephone poles, poles uh, just in one, in one swoop. I just absolutely love the look of this thing. It, uh, I gotta tell you, I gotta admit sometimes when I've just had a rough day, uh, I'll actually go out and blow off some steam by just uh, riding around on our, our 25 acres that we have here. Look at the hood on this thing. It was, um, it's got a definite art deco influence. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the headlights work. Everything works on this one. It's really kind of a, it's kind of a privilege to be able to, uh, to use such a neat, cool tractor that's got a lot of history. It was delivered, um, this was actually made in Dearborn, Michigan, not far from where I grew up and uh, not too terribly far from where we are now. Uh, the Red Tiger uh, engine that this is right here uh, was the first in the lineup after the uh, after the Ford Jubilee uh, to have uh, live hydraulics. So it's it's also really really practical. If you're into tractors, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you probably don't. But I just love these big old meaty wheels. I can tell you, this engine here is only about 28 horsepower. So, um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I have a riding lawnmower now that's, uh, that's that much horsepower. True. So it doesn't go that fast. However, the torque that that engine kicks out and then obviously gets reduced into this massive, massive gear right here is absolutely unbelievable. We've had this tractor buried uh, up to the axle, maybe even a little bit past it in mud before, and it will still climb and, and just claw itself out. It's, uh, it's just, it's really the most useful farm implement I could possibly imagine. Um, kind of a recent project I just did, the original exhaust went from, uh, the side exhaust manifold here down through and under the, uh, under the bottom of the tractor and out to the back. And a bunch of the old timers in this area, which is, uh, who I kind of, I kind of look up to and seek for advice because they've kind of been there and done that. And, uh, and when I'm running in the fall, they're like, oh, don't do that because, uh, you know, a spark can, can light a field on fire or something. And that's pretty dangerous. So we just actually put on this, this vertical exhaust here which is uh, just a pipe that pops up and uh it works really 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 well look at this low this hood logo look at that hood ornament is very very cool so you're probably thinking okay keith great well you got this nifty tractor and you say you uh drive it around to burn off some steam well let's go for a ride you guys want to go for a ride let's go starting these old bad boys is a lot of fun you start by kicking on the ignition make sure you're in neutral all locked out hit the starter button and just like that, she fires right up. It is so cool how smooth this thing runs and how easy it starts. Since this thing idles so slow, it's so cool. So uh, to this side of me back here, we actually have uh, a clearing. And uh, all summer long here at Stickley Family Farms, but people actually come out and camp. We have a couple of unimproved campsites, and it's a lot of fun to bring the family out, maybe the dog, and uh, have a good time. And then, of course, over here behind me is what's left of our cornfield. Every year at Stickley Family Farms, by the way, you can find that on, uh, on Facebook. 
if you want to follow the farms and all the cool stuff we do. We have a big uh, corn maze. We have a Halloween attraction. And that locomotive that you probably saw on the YouTube channel, we're going to get that going as well because this spring we're actually uh, going to revamp the railroad and have, hopefully with a little luck, about a quarter of a mile of track. And our train will hold, I think, uh, 18 adults, or I'm sorry, 18 kids and about six adults. So it'll be a lot of fun for people to come on out and have a little uh, miniature railroad experience. You know, what we do can get pretty stressful sometimes, and it's just really important to kind of kick back and, and get outside and work on some projects, and this is, the way that, uh, this is the way that I like to do it. So I really appreciate you for uh, logging in, spending some time with us. We've got some great content coming up, uh, especially in the next couple days, uh, some really uh, some feel-good stories, actually, that uh, I think are going to be worthwhile. You're going to really enjoy. Do me a favor, if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit like, leave a couple comments, tell me what other kind of stuff you'd like to see out at the farm. I'm sure we'll be making a bunch more videos really soon. Take care, guys. Stay safe.